cargo contamination is costing tens of millions of dollars every year. The only way it can be tackled is by making sure that everyone, from charterer to crew, knows the correct handling procedures. In this video, we define contamination, its causes, the measures to avoid it, and what can be done should things go wrong. Planning is the key. Tanks and lines must be prepared. Delivery and control systems put in place. Emergency contingencies considered and agreed by all parties. Sampling before and during loading must be carried out to a strict timetable and procedure. Protecting the interest of the ship is paramount. Precisely logged and securely stored samples from both ashore and on board ship will be vital evidence in the event of a dispute. Monitoring of the cargo should continue throughout the voyage to safeguard its quality, protecting it from risks such as water ingress or faulty temperature control. But what happens if things do go wrong? As soon as contamination is detected, all operations should be halted. Owners, authorities and P&I clubs must be informed. Samples are taken for laboratory analysis to establish where, when and how the problem arose. Their results will determine what action to take next. The financial cost and damaged reputation that result from contamination can be huge. But with best practice, this can be avoided. Watch this video, study the accompanying workbook and make cargo contamination on your ship a thing of the past.